As was the case in Japan four years ago, South Africa will again do battle against the host country in the quarter-finals. This time, however, they will face the French in front of a very vocal home crowd at the Stade de France. The defending champions expect a brutal physical clash against Le Bleu. They're aware of the enormity of the occasion and are determined not to let South Africans down. It's going to be a tough occasion, you know, uh, they're playing at home and we know how their crowd is. But once again, like I said, we are also here to represent our country, you know, so uh, it's going to be a big game. But once again, it's uh, moments like this that we live for, you know, and uh, we've been here before and we understand the challenge. And uh, hopefully we can be on the right side of the scoreboard tomorrow. But yeah, it's a big one. The box are, however, in a positive frame of mind. They are happy with their preparations and are looking forward to the clash. I wouldn't say we're more relaxed. Um, we know we've been there before and we've um, won a uh, quarter-final. Um, a lot of the guys in the group still. Um, but yeah, that doesn't mean we won't be nervous tomorrow. It's still going to be a big occasion and we know it's going to be very loud. But I know for a fact that all 23 guys that are playing tomorrow are really looking forward to it. The French, meanwhile, say they've prepared for any possible scenario against the box. They've likened the match to a game of chess, which involves a lot of strategic work and planning. While South Africa have won the World Cup three times, the French believe that this is possibly their best chance yet of lifting the Webb Ellis Cup for the first time. The winner of Sunday's clash will face either England or Fiji in the semi-finals in the French capital next weekend. Liesl Willifir, SABC News.